Welcome back to Aesthetics Magazine. Discover more skincare resources at aestheticsmagazine.com. In this episode, we are going to offer part two of our step-by-step -step crash course on facials. Step five is applying a serum. Serums are designed to penetrate deeper into the skin than most moisturizers. Along with this, the active ingredients in the serums are usually of smaller molecules. This makes the serums more effective against many common skin conditions. Serums should be applied twice daily, in the morning and in the evening. Like with the toner, once the serums are applied, wait a few minutes for it to dry before applying the next product. Usually three to four drops would be enough to cover the face and the neck. For the application, use the fingertips and with gentle tapping motions. Never drag the skin in order to avoid wrinkles and other unnecessary lines. Instead of moisturizer, at night, use a night repairing or hydrating serum. These usually contain more antioxidant agents and less water, as skin loses moisture at night. However, in the morning serums should be followed with a daily moisturizer that features a broad-spectrum sunscreen of at least SPF 30. This is really important because most serums do not include sun protection ingredients, so using a separate sunscreen is necessary. For extra UV protection, don't forget to wear a wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses, especially when outside in the sun for long periods. Also, it is important to use serums before sunscreen and makeup in the morning to get the best results. It is not recommended to apply thick layers of serum. Instead, if the skin needs extra hydration, use a sheet mask as the last step in the routine to help the skin absorb all the serum. As part of the steps for facial skincare routine, serum will help to get an even skin tone and smoother skin. This would put the final touch-ups in the makeup. It heals up acne or any problem in the skin and gives a moisturizing feature to give a glossy look. Also, the deep nourishment in the skin cells would keep the beauty of the skin for a long time. Step 6. Under Eyes Under the eyes has the most sensitive skin and we need to give them some extra care. You can use a specialized eye cream or a quality essential oil. Apply the oil or the cream with the help of your ring finger because the ring finger has the lightest touch. Massage the cream in a circular motion but very gently. You need to take care of the skin under the eyes because it's where the first signs of aging show. When you apply decided moisturizer on your face, don't skip the under eye area because it also needs moisture. Use the same ring finger to massage the moisturizer. And for the nighttime skin routine, never forget to put on the night under eye cream because it has the time to give benefit to the area. Before read more. Use a cucumber slice, a cold spoon, an under eye gel mask, or green tea bags on eyes to reduce puffiness, or you can do anything else enjoyable to pass the time while your mask works its magic. Some people put their eye gel mask in the fridge. Also, make sure to remove makeup properly at night, use a delicate touch and plenty of patience, don't skip moisturizer, it helps to lock that moisture in. Step 7 is a moisturizer. They provide your skin with adequate moisture and prevent common skin issues like dryness, oiliness, and irritation. Moisturizing helps your skin stay young by reducing the effect of wrinkles. Always use a good quality moisturizer. The moisturizing should be done twice a day as a part of your morning and night routine. In the morning, you should not apply a lot of moisturizer on face. This allows your protective layer to keep excess moisture out. You should put on a thin layer of moisturizer all over your face. If you have dry skin, you might consider using moisturizer with sunscreen. After moisturizing in the morning, let your skin absorb the moisture for 5 minutes before applying a sunscreen. While, for the night routine, apply moisturizer to maintain the moisture on your skin so that your skin can remain fresh the next day. First, wash your face and apply serum, then apply the moisturizer. Always moisturize immediately after a bath or a shower when your skin is still damp. This is the best time to moisturize your body because the pores are open and the moisturizer will be absorbed more effectively into the deeper layers of the skin. Rub the moisturizer into your skin using an upward motion. This prevents pulling of the skin and helps the moisturizer to absorb properly. Don't forget to moisturize your neck as well. The skin on your neck is thinner than your facial skin, making it more prone to be damaged. Moisturize it the same way you moisturize your face, with the same moisturizer. Lastly, don't ignore the rest of your body. 
Legs, arms and especially elbows, knees and heels have fewer oil glands and so tend to get particularly dry. You might want to use a moisturizer that has glycerin or lanolin. Glycerin is a very good moisturizer that can be put into many cosmetics while lanolin helps lock moisture into the skin. Use moisturizer and moisturize your skin every day and have a healthy looking skin. Thank you for listening to my work. I hope you find it useful. Your feedback will be valued. Step 8. Apply sunscreen. Applying a broad spectrum sunscreen with at least an SPF of 30 is the last step of the facial skincare routine. It acts as a shield to protect the skin from harmful ultraviolet UV rays, which can cause skin cancer and premature skin aging. It's just as important to apply sunscreen in the morning as it is to use it in the evening. Even though there is no longer sunlight, UV rays can still reach the Earth's surface. This is because UV rays from the sun can still pass through different layers of the Earth's atmosphere and can also be reflected off surfaces like buildings and concrete. Sunscreen should be applied more generously and the process should take more time in the morning, as sun exposure during the day is longer. Apply sunscreen to the skin generously for full UV protection. Do not forget your neck, chest, and the back of your hands, as these areas are also subject to the aging and damaging effects of UV radiation. The lips are actually very susceptible to sun damage. They can burn too, which can cause swelling, pain, and long-term damage so it is essential to apply lip balm with at least SPF 15 when going outside. Lastly, wear protective clothing and seek shade when appropriate. These are fundamental steps in a facial skincare routine. It is important that a person sticks to this routine twice a day and applies the products in the correct order mentioned. Also, although everyone's skin is different and may require different products, using this routine and following the given steps benefits our skin greatly in the long run. By following each step, results may vary but overall, skin will become less sensitive and more balanced and the appearance will improve. The steps aim to nourish skin and protect it from harmful environmental factors while also managing any specific concerns that a person may have. Step 9 is the lips. To start, always remember to use a lip scrub to exfoliate as dead skin can build up and cause problems such as cold sores. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends exfoliating with a lip scrub containing salicylic acid or alpha-hydroxy acid. Be sure to be gentle when using a scrub. After exfoliating, apply a lip balm or other lip moisturizing product. Wearing a lip balm with at least SPF 30 when going outside is important for preventing skin cancer that can occur on the lips. Much of the routine for taking care of the skin that has been discussed applies to the lips on some level as well. The lips need to be taken care of just like the rest of the skin. The skin on the lips is much thinner and more delicate than the skin on the other parts of the face, which is why it is important to have a routine specially designed for the lips. When the routine for the lips is finished, it is time to talk about lip makeup. Many types of lip makeup can cause the lips to become dry and chapped if there is no effort to clean the makeup off properly. Allure magazine suggests using a cleansing oil or a makeup remover that has an oil base, but always be sure to wash the face and exfoliate the lips afterwards. With this routine, it is easy to keep the lips healthy and happy. By following these 10 simple steps, Lip Care Guide states, creating a routine that works for your lips should be easy. Well-kept lips can help to maintain a youthful look plus a confident and heightened smile. By exfoliating daily and applying balm nightly and protecting the lips from the sun regularly and using lip balm before applying lipstick and avoiding biting or licking the lips and staying hydrated and using oils and moisturizers and removing makeup properly and following a good lip makeup routine, lips are sure to be healthy. Discover the natural power of vitamins with this new book Understanding Vitamins in Skincare by Greg Reshaw. Learn how vitamins can nourish, protect, and renew your skin, all while embracing a healthy, balanced approach. Get your copy today and uncover the secrets to natural ingredients. Understanding Vitamins in Skincare is available now on Amazon.com.